this land to Ukraine control because tactic of uh, Russian army is totally full destroying of any infrastructure, of any building, of any uh, houses, etc. That's why we are very inspiration, but we need to understand that uh, every day by uh, Russia occupation of some territory, it's, it's uh, every day of murders, of violence, of massacres on to the to the people. Uh, do you think that Ukrainians can feel confident in support from Keir Starmer if he becomes the next prime minister? Um, I feel yes. Uh, today, today I heard uh, about one sentence about Ukraine from here. It's understandable because it's a party meeting. It's about something internal, something internal policy about taxes, about uh, social service, etc., etc. But uh, yesterday I had the opportunity to hear Mr. Semper from uh, on one of the party, Bloomberg party, and uh, he talked about Ukraine much more, and he talked about continuously support of Ukraine uh, from the uh, side of Labour Party. And of course, I had uh, here on uh, conference uh, enough meetings with different shadow ministries, shadow minister of defense, shadow minister of trade, etc. Et and uh, I had uh, fully, totally support of Ukraine that will be continuously. Of course, uh, we have um, another tasks to, to our common uh, work, to our collaboration once from them, it's uh, to establish responsibility of Russia to the war crimes, to establish uh, war crimes, special war crimes tribunal to, of uh, war crimes in Ukraine, of Russia. And uh, I think it will be next uh, big task for our common uh, common activity in, in terms of bilateral support, the partisan support, because, uh, of course, uh, Ukraine uh, is one of the issues that uh, unite all politicians in UK. We know it. It's very good. Uh, of course, uh, we are very thankful for all support and for all help that the uh, UK is gives, gave to us and uh, all time sent to us. It's, uh, all our, I don't know, all our citizens, all our population is very, very thankful for UK. And so, uh, have you managed to have any discussions in person with any of uh, Keir Starmer's team? I had discussion with the Shadow Ministry of Defense, uh, Julie Haley. Uh, Shadow Ministry of uh, Trade, I don't remember, uh, with uh, enough guys from uh, policy. And were they able to give you assurances on support for Ukraine? What, what? Are they able to uh, give you confidence on support for Ukraine? Yeah, oh, <laughs> you see, all UK politicians, besides of some radicals, give all total understanding of totally continuous support of Ukraine. But in Ukraine, we, after one and a half of year of full-scale invasion, we believe not only to war, but we believe to some uh, real work. But real work from UK is exactly special. I think the best after United States, maybe Germany, it's, it's French. It, it's tot it's all our the, the closest partners right now, our closest friends. But UK from all of them all time um, uh, do it like some uh, pioneering because they do it you do it first of all first of uh, everybody you send to us long range missiles you send to us tense challenger you send to us anti-ship uh, missiles it, it was first of all you send to us money it was first of all that's why we all time believe that uk will be pioneer in future else and if i can talk to you now about ukraine um, and events there we have heard reports of a missile strike on a funeral in a village in Kharkiv region. Uh, can I get your reaction to that? Uh, of course, it's awful, it's terrible. It's one of the terrible examples for us uh, that Russia should to, uh, destroy all our country, should to kill all, uh, all our nation. Why? Why at all? about it because uh, by one uh, strike was killed uh, up to one sort of population of this uh, village 60 people but totally in this village live about 200 people it's awful example what um, it, it's war for, for for 
for Russian Federation, it's war against the Ukrainian identity, against Ukrainian people, against Ukrainian population in general. It's not about something, I don't know, territory or something economical. It's all about uh, killing all our population. It's, it's like genocide. We talk about it from the start of this war, from the butcher, from the first day, and all time we receive uh, once and once again some agreement of that from the side of Russia. That's why, of course, it's awful situation. But uh, you know, uh, you know, we know about, we talk about Kharkiv, about Graza village. But uh, today, Avdeevka village is by very active uh, strikes from uh, Russia. And, uh, it's going on every day. And I, I ask you about that one particularly because China's United Nations ambassador called the strike concerning. Um, do, do you think now might be the time for China to step up and do more on the issue of Ukraine? Uh, of the old time, very thankful for all uh, efforts to, to, to establish uh, Ukrainian peace plan, peace plan of Zelensky, peace formal of Zelensky, but you need to understand that all our vision of situation, uh, our peace plan uh, should start from uh, uh, withdrawal of Russian troops from our territory. All other plans, Chinese, Africans, Brazil, India, and we heard about enough peace plans from this time, all of them talking about something else. You need to stop fire, you need to cease fire, etc. Et we don't want that. We want to withdraw Russian troops from our territory exactly from the border of uh, recognizing border to, to August 1991. And can you speak at all on, on the relations uh, between Ukraine and China? Uh, it's, uh, I don't know. We have this relation. We have. Uh, some diplomatic uh, process. Uh, our foreign affairs, uh, resp responsible for foreign affairs block and ministry and other team and presidential administration, of course, they are very active in, pro in, in all in different tracks, in different process. You know, uh, we had a meeting of uh, security councils, councillors. It was in um, Saudi last two months ago and uh, there was Chinese representative. It was some uh, diplomatic process to communicate this formula to all country over the world because we know that uh, even if we estimate all uh, uh, quantity of countries in uh, GN Assembly, UN General Assembly, of course, uh, we will see that uh, we have enough country who abstain from global, from northwestern country. It's called global south. It's not right, I know, but okay, global south, uh, and uh, from northwestern north, northwestern country. And of course, we need to communicate with them what is going on because for some countries from Africa, where I was to was previous year, and I will be next time next month. Uh, it's something like uh, very far from them and they, 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 they don't uh, understand what, what's going on in Ukraine. That's why it's very big uh, piece of work. We will do it together with our partners from the Uni United Kingdom uh, particularly also. And we also heard reports of 27 Russian drones being downed overnight by Ukraine. Do you think there's confidence now in Ukraine's anti-air defense capabilities? Uh, of course, we need much more air defense. We ask it from uh, here, from UK politician class. We ask it from all our Western coalition. Uh, uh, because after stop of grain deal, Russia start to shut down our harbors and our infrastructure on this region uh, near the border with Romania on Duna River, and uh, of course uh, it's a huge problem. We shoot them down most of them, but some of them uh, shoot them to the targets. Uh, and of course it's big damages, big fires, big problem for uh, population of that region, but biggest problem for, for our possibility to export grain, because we are very prepared and we are very open to export much more. 
this year we had uh, the most hugest uh, amount of rain uh, you know of last years because weather was very good and it was very nice for us but uh, we can't because russia blocked this um, sea transport facilities with problem we used our grant facilities through EU, through Poland, through Slovakia, through Romania, but we, we need much more. That's why we need air defense. On the other hand, uh, it uh, will be autumn, it will be f some uh, uh, weather in Ukraine, with frozen, with snow maybe, and uh, of course we expect that Russia will try to attack uh, energy infrastructure again, like they did last year last autumn and of course we need air defense to protect our energy facilities and do you think these attacks you know we've seen an attack on a funeral yesterday we, we, we we're hearing attacks on infrastructure like you say there's, a, there's an expectation they're going to start to attack uh, energy infrastructure do you think that has a level of desperation to it from Putin and his military uh, Putin uh, do what he's do with his strategy to to, 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 to terrorize us in many ways, in such way, in such way, by killing people, by shutting down infrastructure, but uh, by uh, shutting to our uh, harbor infrastructure. It's a strategy. We have our common with Western partners, Western other strategy. I think uh, we, we, we need to be prepared to more continuously uh, war. From, from both sides. Ukraine, of course, we tired from war, but we're preparing to go on through ahead. But we need to the support from Western countries, from UK especially. And we've heard of advances that Ukraine's military have been making in Pliskivka and in uh, How How will people in Ukraine feel about those advances? Of course, we, we all time uh, feel inspiration if our guys uh, catch some uh, village, uh, return some village, deliberate some territory, deliberate some people. But you need to understand that uh, in such in such case like Lishivka, Andreevka, in the uh, term of Bakhmut region, it's all villages without buildings, it's all villages without people. It's all like a piece of land with, bro with totally broken uh, anything. And uh, our uh, soldiers, our uh, uh, brave bravery guys uh, they only return this land to ukraine control because tactic of uh, russian army is totally full destroying of any infrastructure of any building of any uh, houses etc that's why we have very inspiration but we need to understand that uh, every day by uh, russia occupation of some territories it's uh, every day of mothers, of violence, of massacres on to the to that people. And do you think that you, know, you spoke before on the of the attacks on grain and infrastructure? Do you think that those attacks by Russia have uh, have made the situation in the Middle East more volatile? Mm, uh, of course, Ukraine is an uh, important player on. Uh, we, we, we play a role on uh, price uh, level, of course. Um, of course, uh, previous year it, it was sensitive, sensitive because price uh, increased up to 10 percent. It's uh, sensitive for uh, poor countries from Middle East, from Africa region. But we start a special initiative uh, grain from Ukraine when uh, Western country and some Arabian country, big like uh, powerful like Qatar, uh, collect, uh, allocate money to Ukraine and we send from this money ships uh, with grain to most pure countries like Somali or Djibouti, or Eritrea. Uh, it it, it makes sense, it may be. Of course, uh, we hope that uh, all but by totally adding this factor in Israel, uh, in attack to Israel, invasion to Israel from Hamas, and the uh, situation with uh, Ukrainian grain, it all can summary add some uh, ne negative effects to to environment on uh, this part of uh, Earth. I say about Middle East, about Maghreb.
about maybe some uh, even uh, Eastern Asia. Uh, that's why we need to unite our efforts to stop Putin, to stop all uh, dictators, because it's our common uh, object of all democratic world to stop these awful, terrible maskers. Um, and can I ask for your reaction to the current events that are happening in Israel? Where? Israel. Can I ask your reaction to the uh, events in Israel? Uh, of course, we very we, we, we spend our condolences to, to Israel people. We saw this terrible massacres. We, we we saw it. Uh, it was like uh, it was like uh, massacres in Bucha. It was like massacres in our country. Yes. Go 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 in the last uh, one and a half year. Of course, uh, we need to we need to learn this lesson. If you, if you wouldn't stop a dictator, if you wouldn't stop evil in uh, international scale, in inner scale, you will get it uh, once more and more on next time. We said it from occupation of Crimea. We said it from occupation of uh, well, for, for scale invasion of our territory and occupation of our land from one year ago. But uh, we need to, to change something in the world. Because something's going on, and uh, if if we in in uh, more safety places in EU, in UK, in United States, uh, uh, feel safety by system of uh, common uh, security like NATO, for example, uh, I think that the problem is democracy in the world. This problem is a Socratian can can increase more and more in the future. That's why we need to stop it. Of course, we will support uh, personally Israel people, we will support uh, Israel families, uh, we, we, we prize for, for, for their life, of course. But we need to understand the uh, results in wide context of all of them. 